you should be doing long, slow runs. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a few reasons why. So the key word here is slow. By running easy and slowly, we're gonna build absolutely incredible endurance. The reason for this is because we're gonna be keeping our heart rate low. This is less taxing on the body, and it means we can go much further. Not only does it mean we can go much further, but also because it's less damaging to our body, it means that we can also train hard again tomorrow. So if we take training for a marathon as an example, you might want to do a 20 mile long run. Now, you don't want to go out and smash this at your marathon goal pace because that's going to take so much out of you and tomorrow you might have an interval run. If you smash this 20 miles as hard as you can, tomorrow's interval run is not going to be great. You're going to be fatigued and it's just going to be really tough and you're not going to get the maximum benefit out of that next session. But if you take those same 20 miles and do them easy, then you'll damage your body less, there'll be less recovery time needed, and then tomorrow when you go out for those intervals, you can hit them with fresh legs and absolutely smash what you need to out of that session and get benefit from both. What's interesting is that if we take the same distance but cover it slower, this doesn't actually negatively impact you. It actually has a positive impact because one, it takes less recovery time, and two, you spend more time on your feet, which is exactly what we need to build endurance. So what is the aim of a long, slow run? Well, the whole idea is to build endurance. Now, we don't have to go fast to build endurance. This is why we need to keep it really slow. And this will have loads of benefits, including making you a really disciplined runner and also building your mental resilience. A long run is really taxing on the body. However, if you take it at a nice, gentle pace, it can almost end up a bit of a recovery run and you can get the blood flowing into your legs without creating too much damage and this can be really beneficial. So even if you're training for a shorter race, like a fast mile, a long run can still be really beneficial because it's gonna get that blood pumping from your legs, you're gonna get some recovery and it's also gonna build that mental strength that you need to get through on race day. So we've touched on a couple of benefits like the improvement to your endurance running and also the mental resilience, but there's definitely more benefits to a long, slow run. One of them is actually that the slower pace promotes adaptation in your ligaments, tendons, and your joints. And by running slowly, your body will learn to run more efficiently and more effectively. And this is really useful even when we translate it into our faster sessions. The slow run will also improve your musculoskeletal system and improve your cardiovascular system. These are really, really important for all types of running. And then aside from performance benefits, a long slow run allows you to go and explore any areas that you maybe can't run on a faster run. You can also be a bit more sociable with your training and maybe go some friends on a weekend so there's loads of benefits to long slow running and you should definitely be adding it into your training so if I started to convince you that a long slow run is a really good idea then click up here to see just how you should be doing it or click down here to be when and how far you should be running remember to like subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when I upload if you've got any questions please drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one